we have been, cool we have been telling the government, the president especially, uh -huh. yeah. that the finance minister was compromised. Was compromised because he, for many people, mm -hmm. was just a no-go area for the international community as well as the markets. It was a disaster. And so <laughs> the president, as his appointing authority, needed mm. to send a signal to the market. But this also had even been way before we had various academics mm. and very much recently, uh, former President John Dramani Mahama also reiterating that call mm. because you needed to send that signal to the market after the budget was read, e-levy was long in being passed okay. and subsequently after it was passed mm -hmm. and there were constant calls from those who were observing the <coughs> economy internationally that we needed to sign up for some IMF bailout or not. And he went on that podium and insisted that Joshua and Caleb will descend down in modern day times. <laughs> and as a result of that, we as a country were so proud. Kwame mm -hmm. Nkrumah Ghana, we didn't mm -hmm. need to go to the IMF. Mm -hmm. And then, bullishly, no, it's JB Danko, it's okay. yeah. many of the things Let's that come followed, come commentary from leading mm -hmm. members of the party, including a, a, a deputy trade minister that, the IMF team that they were negotiating with mm. were made up of small boys There's a who, deputy finance who were akin to, to having intellect of those who come from fresh universities, yeah. in my own interpretation. And I think it just made those who always give us the good coupons on the bond mm. market, mm. um, those from the Britain Wood institutions, those from the multilateral um, mm. agencies, as well as the countries that we deal with, that, mm -hmm. look, we want to take a laid-back approach Mm -hmm. And watch this brilliant, as he was described, Yale graduate, yeah. Wall Street investment mm -hmm, banker, mm -hmm. to turn the fortunes of this third world country, Ghana, around. It hasn't happened. Apparently, the, the failure was on the sheets for a very long time. The president disagreed. I know. I know. Oh. He he said it um, on tour. Mm. You know he's going around the country. Yeah, he's a tourist. Local. And he's still touring. Yeah, he's still it's touring. A local tourist. And just a few days ago, he said he had no need to take him out, the finance minister out, because this is the same person when he took office in 20, 2017, yeah. um, made Ghana's economy one of the most thriving economies in Africa. Hmm. And it's been how many years that he's been in government? It's been six years. Yes. And probably only now that things are dwindling a little bit. Number two, he hasn't had any calls from other ministers mm. and other parliamentarians, <clears throat> um, as it should be, according to law, mm. coming to him to say that, hey, take this guy out because he's not doing well. He hasn't yeah. had any call. And further on, he explained well, that, here. well, it says here, finally, he wasn't listening. Or maybe he just turned a blind eye to or it. Or maybe but he was sleepy on the job. Probably, but it is here right now. I mean, unprecedented, if I'm to use the contemporary word. No, yeah. that no, 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 it's oh, correct. Right. It's correct. Right. We've given you Oxford history. Okay. Un okay. Unprecedented. Okay, please. Yes. Never that happened For before. the first time, yeah. yes, yes. Well, before I continue, let me just continue with this a video of the president saying mm. that he will not let Ken Oferiata go. Please. Let's, let's take a look. Let's, let's go at it. Finance Minister, um, what does Jinidi? We were under an IMF program right until 2019. But this man was able to organize the management of our economy in such a way that not only were we able to roll out all these programs, in that first year and subsequent years. But our economy's growth was spectacular. And then for convenience sake, So somebody who has been able to do that, why would I say that um, how do I do that? How do I do that? What, what would be the basis? What is the rationale? It's a different matter. It's a different matter. I'm repeating for my second term. 
I repeated him for my second term. Like some of the senior ministers of my government, the mm-hmm. agriculture minister is behind me, the, the rules minister is here, the trade minister is there. These are some of the major pillars of my government. My, for me, my, their performance in my first term was excellent. Let me use that word, excellent. The president, I think, has got a thing with words, eh? Remember when we were complaining about E-Levy? He, he said unnecessary Dis- disputations. disputations. Yeah. And the other day when we're talking about reshuffling the, the government, the mm, cabinet, mm. he said that his ministers have performed outstanding. They've yeah, been outstanding. Yeah. And then what, what word did he use right now? Excellent. 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 The finance minister has been excellent. The president so is a logo for how, how did we get to a point where an excellent finance minister is being booed and what's the word? Give me a very strong word this morning. Um, Await. His own booed and <laughs> By his own colleagues yeah. in parliament. It, 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 it doesn't someone, exactly yeah. it doesn't make sense. And when you listen to these parliamentarians, they are telling us that when we went on recess and we went back to our constituencies, mm. these are the voices of the people. Mm. This is what the people are saying and we cannot sit anymore. And yesterday I listened to News 360 and Pakusi Asari mentioned categorically that he can confirm mm. that these agitations actually started two or three weeks ago. They, have me- they had mentioned it to the president, but I, I am not Very sure mentally, if he was listening he or not. Listen. Because then it means that that was before Mr. he granted president. this interview. See, this interview okay. that we just watched, know, that was before he I granted know, this interview. I know on good authority that during the MPP's conference, the national conference, the guys who came from the diaspora, including some of the Tescom people, had occasion to meet the president. Okay. Okay? Hmm. You know they have chapters from outside. Yes. They met, all over the world. They met the president, and they told him to do a reshuffle, and they shut it down flat. I have you it, know this for a I fact. I have it on good authority, and I challenge anybody to say, I've just kept quiet about it. Way back as when they had the delegates conference. This was way conference. back Angel before Angel Justin Angel. Kodia and the rest were. Became. Exactly. You know, when they came in, they had okay. They usually come, they meet and the they president meet, uh, of the day. And it happens, leading members yes, of the party. leading members of the party. They tell them what's happening around, you know, how they can help them to mobilize support and all of that. And they told the president, look, it's time for a reshuffle. He says, no. Wow. So the president has been at this for not, not today. And I think that sometimes he forgets that he's an employee. That without us, he would have never become president that he had to literally beg us. He begged us. He says, This is the president. The president who finishes all his speech and says, Now he says, Baku, 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 baku. <laughs> The man who says, And that's, he used to end with that. Today he says, Same person. Yeah. Sir, no, no, in connection with fixing the country. Sir, no, no, that was in connection to fixing the country. But, but when he stood on the campaign platform, mm. and after those speeches when he said, he was telling us that somebody else who was there couldn't fix it, and he was coming to fix it. Yes. Six years on, you know they see top. When we talk, you say, yeah. and, 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 and Johnny and Cookie, while we have to yes. go for break, consistently when we engage government, Villagers and witches and wizards, they are here, bro. Whether they are leading members of the party, leading members in government, or uh, appointees, ministers, heads of uh, SOEs, etc. The refrain you keep having is that um, we had uh, difficulties under the elsewhile John Mahama government, etc. But look, the benchmark was, in 2016, mm. we think as voters, you were not fit for the job. And we're going to have better people. Mm. Based on what they are communicating to us, are going to be the criteria on which we're going to vote for them. Led by Nanado Dankwe Kufado, also being fanned incessantly by the vice president, who is yeah. now the head of the, the president's 
economic management team, Dr. Mahmoudou Baumia, that, look, there is, there is one, enough money in this country to be mobilized that we don't even have to depend on aid. Two, we can't marshal ourselves in such a way that we're going to put more value on our regular traditional exports. And we're not talking about, we're talking about our key exports, okay? And three, we are so good that we were in a position where even pegging the CD to the dollar, we were going to see an, a, a drastic reduction in yeah. the rate. Yeah. Look, this is a finance minister who has supervised the worst inflationary trend within a couple of months, if not a year, mm. since the year 2001. Our inflationary trends this year and the current one being 37.2 beats the highest in 2001. Can you imagine? <laughs> the Look, high, the highest in 27 years. <laughs> our, our debt level is 402 billion Ghana cities. Mm. It is no joke. Mm. No joke at all. So when somebody comes to say that, um, we think that there's any defense to be had when we've had 300 or almost 300 percent increment from the last time the NDC administration was voted out because the voters thought they were not yeah, good enough. Yeah. Then we should have a recourse to say that no matter the content of the communication that's put on government communication platforms, it is just not admissible. We do understand that since the beginning of the Fourth Republic, we've always had the MPP and NDC. So the benchmarking to the opponent is, is but, regular. But, Roland, but, 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 but if you say that, always. if you say that, Roland, if you no, say no, that. we do understand Roland, that. Roland. But, 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 See, no, let me just let me just No, no, let me just So what I keep saying, you call, let me just No, no, no. So what I keep saying is that if that is the benchmark, then you ought to do better than the NDC. But I'm saying that exactly the point. And so far, you are. 300 percent if not 200 percent west of the NDC. see if they were here you are one two, two three. three but why should what you called incompetent even be your, your benchmark right because why you call them be? incompetent you why said should it be? they can't do it we supported you yeah. to call them incompetent yeah. yeah yeah what you called incompetent cannot now be your benchmark to say even if we are failed we are better than, than what you call the failure yeah what kind of logic is that right. they think it is with a week there uh, the fundamentals will expose you. I said that then. I'm saying that now. It doesn't add up. Do you remember C. Denier? Hata Hata. Mm, Do you remember Nanado? C. Denier? Hata Hata Hata. C. Denier from then, then, I remember one from Nanado. He says, <laughs> he says, and when you ask them about what they're saying for the campaign, the response to the campaign is, he did be keke. He did be keke. He did be keke. Well, I'm going to tell you, you did go. Keke, you they go. Keke. Then he has uh, Auntie Rebecca here and two of his beautiful daughters. My him. beloved Rebecca. Yeah, yeah. My beloved. Yeah. Well, Rebecca. the times are not good. It's the ordinary Ghanaian, whether they are MPP members or NDC members or PSC members. The pressure members they reach, we all. Yeah. We all with this. We inside. all with this. Inside. I'm more fire. I'm more fire. The fire, there. we all with it. It's a we all. Nana, I'm more fire. Let's take a break. We'll be right back. Nana, I'm more fire. With the weather and journey's Also for my also. In an open economy with market determination of prices, exchange rate movements are the most important indicator of underlying macroeconomic fundamentals. As the saying goes, when in doubt, observe the exchange rate. The lesson from history for government is that you cannot manage the economy with propaganda. In, in fact, you can engage in all the propaganda you want, but if the fundamentals are weak, the exchange rate will expose you. The type of free fall that we are seeing with the city exchange rate is a vote of no confidence by market players in the management of the economy. Indeed, many market players presently 
are pricing goods with the, ex with the expectation that the exchange rate is going to be two to one. It is almost there. The scary part of this is that we are only just past the first quarter of the year and we have three more quarters to go and the situation could therefore get worse. This development is not fair to the private sector and it is certainly not fair.